First of all, what the hell are you thinking? Who are you calling? Trust me, Meg. All I wanted to do was see what was inside the covers. That's all. Peter's GPS tracks him as being in this general area, but I lost signal trying to call him back. Wait, wait, wait. What? You never mentioned anything about Peter. Is he supposed to be here? Look, Meg, I'm sorry. Can you please just get in the car? I'll explain everything on the way to Peter's place. I promise. Was that Peter back there? No. I hope not. I don't know. But I'm not going back in there until I know for sure what happened at his place. Come on, we're wasting time. What do you expect to find? Hopefully something helpful and not a dead body. You know, you could have at least told me the truth, though. I would have still come with you. I know. And I'm sorry that I lied to you. If I had mentioned Peter's name, you wouldn't have come with me. You would have told me to go file a missing persons report with the police. Are you kidding? Peter's my friend too, Janelle. And why can't we go to the police? This is why. Hey, Janelle. Please call me back. I need your help. Something went wrong with the experiment and gave me an allergic reaction and I had to get out of there before it got out of hand. I need you to get out of my place if you can. There's an anti-serum in the... Please hurry. I'm headed to this freeway. Whatever you do, please don't call the cops, or they'll send me away to a science lab. See you soon, I hope. That explains why you still have him on GPS and key to his place. I thought you two were over. Seriously, Meg? Now is not the time. Sorry. I noticed that Peter's phone kept breaking up, which places him by the warehouse, but I didn't see his car. Unless he parked in the back and got into the warehouse a different way. Wait, you're saying that thing in the warehouse is Peter? I'm afraid so. Jeez, Janelle, I asked you if that was Peter back there. Yes, you did. I wasn't sure if it was in fact him. Or, like I said, I didn't see his car or anything related to him. I'm not going back to that place where I wasn't until I knew for sure it was him. And not without the anti-serum. Okay. So what now? Okay. Now we have to find that anti-serum. Look for anything out of the ordinary. You go to the kitchen, and I'll take the living room. Anything? Uh, 
Nothing. You? I'm staring right at it. I can't believe you're not seeing it. it was a can of whipped cream. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, Janelle. You found it. Come on. Peter's been needing this for a few hours now. Okay. Let's go. Peter! Megan? <gasps> hey, you guys. Thank you for coming. I could have sworn I thought I heard you guys in here earlier. Are we too late? No, 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 please! Stay back. This is the reason I came out here in the first place. I don't know if this is contagious. We only have one shot at this. So we'll see how it works. We found this in your refrigerator. I hope this is what you needed. There you are. It's good to be back to normal. Do this again, mister. We'll make it permanent. Come on. Let's get you out of here. Oh, hey, do you mind grabbing my purse? Yeah, sure. 